So I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do a beam analysis for a simple beam. And so our simple beam means that we have a pin connection right here and a roller connection at the other end. And for this one, we're just going to do one concentrated load. And so we have that concentrated load right here uh, at this point in the very center of the beam. And that, by the way, is uh, 500 pounds. So you can see that our beam is 16 feet long. Again, we have that load at 8 feet in the center. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw what's called a free body diagram. And for this, I'm going to start out by sketching the, a line. This is a free body diagram right here. This line from this point here to over here is 12 blocks long. Now, I'm going to put a couple things on here. The first thing is I'm going to put a reaction force. That is right there. And I'm going to put another reaction force at the other end right there. I'm also going to put on here that we have a load. So there's where the load's going to go. And we're going to say that uh, P, which is the load, P equals 500 pounds. We're going to add some dimensions. So here from the center point, uh, this is 8 feet. Here to here. And then the total length of the beam is 16 feet. All right, now I'm going to label my reaction forces. And we have no reaction forces in the x direction, nothing in the horizontal. They're all in the y axis, in the vertical. So over here on this side, this is going to be RA for reaction force A. And then on the opposite side is going to be RB for reaction force B. And once we've taken care of this, this is our free body diagram, we can go ahead and start to work through the calculations. So the first step is to sum the forces in the y direction. And to sum the forces in the y direction, and this is what we're, this is going to look like. Uh, I'm going to put this down here. This is going to be a sum of the forces in the y direction, they have to equal zero. And the reason that those forces have to equal zero is that the beam needs to be in uh, static uh, equilibrium for it to be able to withstand and to not move. And so all of our forces have to be equal to zero. So it needs to be in static equilibrium. And so now what we'll do is we'll just add up these forces in the y direction. OK, so now we have a force vector going up right here. And that is RA. So I'm going to put RA, so RA plus R, B, because this is a force vector going up, and they are both going in the y direction, we have those two forces, but we also have a force going down. 
this should probably be an arrow on the end of here there we go so that is going to be and by the way in vectors direction means something so because this 500 pounds is pressing down this is going to be minus 500 pounds all of these forces have to equal zero all right so now we need to rearrange this equation so we're going to have r a plus r b equals and we're going to add 500 pounds to both sides of the equation equals 500 pounds now in this equation we have two unknown variables and that means we can't move forward with that equation so we need to use uh, another formula and not only do the forces in the y direction have to be equal to zero but the sum of the forces or the sum of the moment forces has to be equal to zero so remember moments are turning or twisting forces so I'm gonna go ahead and sum the moments uh, so some of the moments and we're going to do that from point A. So we're going to sum the moment forces. So I'm going to write sum of the moment forces. And this is going to come from point A. So this is sum of the moment forces A. And this has to be equal to 0. Yeah. You know what? I should have written this down a few few lines here. So let's let me do that because I'm going to need to use this area up here for my equation. So I'm just going to cross that out. So right, sum of the moment a has to be equal to zero. Now um, let's sum our moment forces. So the first force that I'm going to uh, come across is uh, RB and that this is 16 feet. Uh, moments are force times distance. So I'm going to put down here, I'm going to put down reaction force B times 16 feet. And the next one I'm going to find, next moment force I'm going to find is right here. And that's my minus 500 pounds. Times 8 feet. Because that's the distance to the 500 pounds right there. Plus, the last one is RA, so that's RA, and that is going to be times zero, because it's zero feet, and all that has to equal zero. Okay, so we need to simplify this down some more. So I'm going to have RB times 16 feet minus 500 times 8 which is going to be 4,000 and that is going to be foot pounds and then RA times 0 is 0 so this is all going to be 0 and we keep simplifying this so RB times 16 feet equals and we add the 4,000 to both sides of the equation here equals 4,000 and now simplifying it the rest of the way RB is going to be equal to 4,000 over 16 so RB is going to equal 250 and by the way this is 4,000 foot 
pounds here and uh, 16 feet. So these two cancel out and you get 250 pounds for RB. Okay, now that I've solved for RB, I can take this value and add it into the equation up here. So I'm going to have RA plus 250 pounds is going to be equal to 500 pounds. And then simplify this. RA, and we subtract 250 from both sides, is going to be equal to uh, 250 pounds. So what we're saying with this, and I'm going to circle both this one down here and this guy up here is that our reaction forces on both ends of the beam are going to be 250 pounds. Okay, so now it's time to sketch what's called our shear diagram. And I've drawn this line right here. This is uh, going to represent zero. I'm going to go up two blocks. And I'm going to put a dot right here. Then I'm going to go to that middle point and I'm going to put another dot right there. And I'm going to draw a line. You can do this freehand if you want or use a ruler. It doesn't really matter to me. And I'm going to just draw that uh, line right there. And this is going to represent uh, 250 pounds right there. Now, we stopped at the middle because this is where our uh, 500 pounds of force is. And the, that force is going down. So I'm going to go down 1, 2 to 0. And then I'm going to go 1, 2 to the other side because it's an even amount. And then we're going to go to the right here to this side and this is going to be negative 250 whoops ran myself out of room pounds and I'll box this in and we'll box this in and then we'll cross hatch this and this is our shear diagram Okay, because of time, I did the uh, Mac moment chart uh, for us. And that just comes from our line up to the midpoint, up to and down. Now, the moment max is the area under the shear to the left of center. So moments are always measured from the force to the left. So the moment max equals the 250 pounds times that distance, which from here... To over here that is 8 feet that's the distance and you take the moment max is going to be equal to 2,000 foot pounds so up here on the chart you label moment max and over here on the right hand side you put down foot pounds